Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Today we have the Cold Steel Code 4. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of this knife. I've had a couple couple days to uh, mess with it and kind of get a feel for it. And this thing is really smooth and just really light for its size. So real quick, we'll put the uh, specs up on screen. And let's just get into it. It's got a drop point style blade in S35 VN steel with a really nice hollow grind. It's got dual thumb studs for deployment. Now the the right side of the blade is just a little bit shorter, but it still it still works very well. You can actually spidey flick this knife. That's how smooth it is, but even that shorter stud functions really well. It's got aluminum scales that's coated with a black coating. I don't know exactly what the coating is, but it does look very good. They did a good job on it. It's got a deep carry pocket clip. I believe this is a aftermarket version, but this is what it comes with. Even the original pocket clip is somewhat of a deep carry. You only have a little bit sticking out with the, the original pocket clip. And of course you have the cold steel triad locking system. So that's pretty much what this blade has going for it. So let's just get into the changes that I will be doing. I will be etching the blade and the lock bar. So I'll be stripping off the, the coating. It's already stripping as you guys can see here. So I'm going to strip that coating and then, uh, yeah, etch the blade and the lock bar and then give it a nice stone wash. I'll be getting rid of the lanyard hole and making it only a right hand carry. So the show side will just be nice and clean, kind of like I did on the Recon one. I'll leave a link up in the corner for that video if you guys haven't seen it. And then last but not least, I will be changing the scales from the aluminum ones to a black burlap material. So this is going to be really interesting and I think it's going to look really good. So let's just get into uh, taking this thing apart and uh, see what we're dealing with. The pivot screw is a T10 and then the rest of the hardware is T6. So with it all taken apart, let's get to uh, customizing it.
All right, everybody, so here it is all customized. Now, as you guys saw from the video, the burlap actually turned out pretty glossy. Not glossy in the sense that it's too shiny, but I did bring it to 600 grit, and then I put that tongue oil to just really kind of seal it and darken it just a little bit more, but looks really, really cool because obviously you can see the the burlap so it's just got a really cool pattern and I just I rounded off the beveled edges that I did all the way around the scales just so it has a softer a softer look that way it's also just more more comfortable and just more pleasant in the hand then as you guys saw from the video I recessed the deep carry pocket clip so that sits in there nicely. And yeah, I'm just really happy with how these things came out. So they both look really good. Happy with the outcome. Now these are a little bit thicker than the original, but they do feel they do feel a lot lighter. So once I put this all together, we'll find out what the what the weight of it is. I got a feeling the knife's gonna be just a little bit lighter. And then as you guys saw from the video. I did an etch and a nice stone wash, which I forgot to film, and then I also forgot to film uh, the jimping on top. So I just did enough to where, when you are holding the blade, you got some some jimping for your thumb. But other than that, I'm super happy with the outcome of the stone wash. Just really, really cool. And then the logo. And the writing is still there, but it's it's got a unique unique effect. So nothing bad, just looks looks really neat. But that came out really good. And then I also did the lock bar, so etched and stone washed, just to match the blade, and it all ties together. So with that being said, uh, let's put this thing together and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is all put together and it's looking really good. I like the, the dark look it has to it and it kind of just flows and yeah, it just looks really good. Let me know down below in the comments of what you guys think, uh, especially about this with this burlap. Definitely has a unique look. Very uh, carbon fiber-esque, you could say. Yeah, even the lock bar looks good that stone wash too. Now the main concern was to see if it was as smooth as before. So if we can spidey flick it, we are in good shape. So yeah, pass the test. We're still smooth and it will drop shut. So I gotta be careful. So the cold steels like to bite me. So I just like to be just a little extra careful with these blades. But yeah, really happy with the scales. And then the pocket clip, I was able to recess down into the scale. So now it's nice and flush. So it sinks down. The screws won't bother the pocket. So yeah, just looks really, really good, happy with it. And like I said before, the scales are a little bit thicker since I didn't want, I didn't want to risk making them too thin and then breaking. So I did, I did make the scales a little bit thicker, but again, it does feel a little bit lighter. And I do have my scale here. So originally, the the blade weighed 4.13 ounces. So let's see what it weighs now. So 3.92. So we did we did shave off some weight. So that's pretty cool. And again, the scales are a little bit thicker, but. If I was to go as thin as the originals, again, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to risk breaking them. So that's cool that you get a little more, a little more comfort in the hand. You can get a better grip since it is a little bit thicker. And yeah, just really happy that it's lighter too. So really great material. 
I'll leave a link down below of the material I used so you guys can check that out if you guys are interested. And again, the jimping that I put on the blade is just in a really, really good spot. So your thumb sits nicely right on top of the blade and it's just really, really comfortable. And then this little bump here at the top of the scale actually makes it a little more comfortable too since your thumb is kind of guided towards that jimping. So really, really happy with that outcome. So there is the Cold Steel Code 4. So thank you for watching, you guys. I really appreciate your support. And as always, I will see you on the next one.